Welcome to Command Lynn. Today, taking a look at Crazy Train, Ozzy Osbourne, 1981. Uh, it's almost Halloween as I record this, so we're doing something from the dark side tonight. Because remember, uh, way back when, when everyone was all freaking out, and he was so spooky and evil, and everyone was all afraid of this guy. This guy looks like some spinal tap reject, or like maybe he's got a part in a high school play. But um, I don't know how he was ever frightening to anyone. But there's no denying the music, and uh, my gosh, Randy Rhodes, of course, what can you say? Uh, this was a stair step, a milestone in your guitar journey, you know, after you learned your stairway, you know, you learned Crazy Train on the way up to Eruption. It was just part of the... Uh, Part of the journey and as it turns out works great in the mandolin so of course it's pretty appropriate here huh hey before we get started be sure to subscribe down below command mandolin doing a lot of these lessons and tutorials and oh sometimes reviews and just talking about mandolins and things uh be sure to check out the store down below got the command mandolin uh, store for uh, stickers and hoodies and t-shirts and stuff and of course i put the paypal and the venmo thing there uh, if you're checking out the channel, could get something, or are getting something from the channel, and could kick it a buck or two. So appreciate it. Uh, thanks so much, everybody who's done that. My goodness, so appreciate it. Uh, but hey, Crazy Train, let's check it out. All right, so it's in F sharp minor, uh, and it starts off with the bass playing the root notes of the chords. But the uh, progression it's playing is really the core of the whole song, and it's this. string, four on the D, open A, second on the uh, high E, F sharp minor, A major, uh, two, two, four, and five respectively, E, four, two, two, four, Back, to, back up to the F sharp. Now, D major, two, open, open two. Back to the E, and back to the F sharp. famous main riff, which is this. And what this is, we're going to bar the middle two strings on the fourth fret with our ring finger. Not ring finger, sorry, our middle finger. Middle two strings, middle finger, fourth fret. We're just going to hit D string twice, A string once, and D string once. And now we're going to add on the fifth fret with our ring finger. Take it back off. Now the second part of the lick is... And this can be thought of as like a two-part phrase. The first part is this. Simply 2nd fret on the A, open, 6th fret on the D, and back up to the open A. Now do the same phrase, except we're just going to change the very last note. 2nd, open, 6th, but now instead of going up to the A, come down to the E, the e note, 2nd fret of the D string. And that's it. So you combine those two. And then you put that with the other part. When you get to the end, it's going to go D major chord. 
to open open to and up to the E where we scoot everything up four two two four right into the uh, verse, which you would swear was written for the mandolin. Straight bluegrass chords here. A, E, D, A. And of course the A is two, two, four, five. E is 4224. Two, four. Scoot everything down. 2002. Oh, oh, and back to the A. I'll, I'll lift off. Keep these in position and lift off when I need an extra beat or a little emphasis there. and some uh, crazy guitar fills being Randy Rhodes and all. And uh, what he's doing on the guitar is just pulling off real fast from the fourth to the second fret from his uh, G string, D string, and A string on the guitar. Which doesn't quite line up on our strings. Uh, so for us, we'd have to start in the second fret of the A. And of course it comes by real fast, but second fret of the A, you won't pull that off. Open A, and then six, four, two, and open on the D. To six, four, and two on the G string. Well, you know, as fast as you can. But uh, I find that, you know, you get the same effect. You can do what he does, just pulling off four, two, and open. You know, it almost doesn't matter what the notes are. So long as they're they're like rhythmically correct on this fill, right? Just as long as some notes go water falling through there. But technically it, it is it starts on the B. But uh, don't even have to mess with any, you can just do the chords. And let's take a look at what that is. And all this is is that F sharp minor chord again, six four open to to a big D major chord two four five. on the G, fourth in the G. That's gonna lead us right into the chorus. And all this is, is the A, A major chord that we've been doing. Two, two, four, five. E, just like we've been doing, four, two, two, four, and F sharp minor, six, four, open, two. Make sure to really emphasize, make sure that top uh, F sharp note rings out. That's your melody note. Melody is just walking down from A to G sharp to F sharp. He does a little walk up on his guitar on his uh, low E string. We would have to do it from here. On uh, D string would be two, second, to the fourth, to the sixth. If you wanted to incorporate that. 
don't have to, but it, you know, he does, and it's a, it's a neat thing to have. Mix it in there. Now he goes into the part here, you know, where he does, he does the chords in like the really squeaky kind of the harmonic fills and stuff, and it sounds really cool. But it's just the same progression we started out with. are all the pieces of the song, parts of the puzzle, if you will, to uh, put together in any way you see fit as you're having fun. Uh, I did attempt to, I sat down because I've got the, the guitar solos written out in tabs in the book back there. So I did attempt to see if I could translate that into the Mandy, and that, that was not going to work. Uh, so short of the guitar solo, this is all the parts of the, uh, of the song. All right, thanks for tuning in to Commander Lynn. We'll see you next time.